Welcome to Module 6 for Excel 2016. In this module, you're going to learn how to insert data in cells and ranges. This includes how to cut, copy, and paste data, pasting data by using special paste options, filling cells using autofill, and inserting and deleting cells. After you enter data into a worksheet, you frequently need to rearrange or reorganize some of it to make the worksheet easier to understand and analyze. You can use Excel's cut, copy, and paste commands to copy or move entire cells with their contents, formats, and formulas. On the Home tab of the ribbon, click the Clipboard dialog box launcher. The Clipboard pane opens on the left side of the worksheet. The most recently copied item is always added at the top of the list in this pane, and it is the item that will be copied when you click Paste. Notice above this pane are the ribbon buttons for Cut, Copy, and Paste. Highlight the data for December and press Ctrl-C. This is the shortcut command for copy. When you do this, the data for December shows up in the clipboard menu. Click on cell O4 and press Ctrl-V. This pastes the data in column O. Now, copy a selection of November's data using Ctrl-C. Again, the data for November appears in the clipboard section. Paste this data in column P by clicking Ctrl-V. You can also paste directly from the Office clipboard. Click cell Q4 to make it active. In the clipboard menu, click on the data for November. It now pastes into column Q. You can paste both November and December data at the same time by clicking the Paste All button in the clipboard. Try this now on column R. You will notice the data stacks with December on top of November. Delete these columns by selecting column headers O through R, right-clicking, and selecting Delete. Depending on what you're trying to do, you may want to paste your data in a different way. The Paste Options menu gives you several options. Excel provides autofill options that automatically fill cells with data and or formatting. To populate a new cell with data that exists in an adjacent cell, use the autofill feature either through the command or the fill handle. The fill handle is a small green square in the lower right corner of a selected cell or range of cells. Click and drag the fill handle from cells that contain data to the cells that you want to fill with that data, or have Excel automatically continue a series of numbers, numbers and text combinations, dates, or time periods based on an established pattern. Let's practice with your temperatures spreadsheet. Highlight the cells starting from 1985 down to 1980. Bring your mouse to the bottom right corner of this range to turn it into a plus sign. Click and drag down. Excel recognized these dates as descending numbers and continued the pattern for you. Press undo to return the data to normal. Click cell H4 for July. On the Home tab, click the Insert button. All cells in column H shift down by one cell. Now select cells I4 through I17. On the Home tab, click the Insert button arrow, then select Insert Cells. In the Insert dialog box, ensure the Shift Cells Right option is selected and click OK. The highlighted cells and all cells to their right were moved one column to the right. When you delete cells in a worksheet, you remove one or more cells, forcing other cells to move up or to the left. Click cell H4. In the Home menu, press the Delete button. Automatically, the cells move up. Highlight cells I4 through I17. On the Delete menu, click Delete Cells and the dialog box will appear. 
choose Shift Cells Left. Our spreadsheet has now returned to normal.